On today's classic movie review, we are not going back 10 years, AJ. We are going back 20 years. 2004. 2004. Okay. And we are going back to, as always, AJ does not know the movie that's about to be brought up. You guys know because you've clicked on the thumbnail. AJ is a first-time finder-outer of what this movie is. And AJ, it is the sequel to one of your favorite movies ever. Kill Bill Volume Two is twenty <laughs> years old. Ooh, they're playing with me. They're playing with me. They're playing with me. Oh dear! Now we play. <laughs> indeed. Now we play. Indeed. The Tarantino masterpiece, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> it, look, it's it's one of those things. We always talk about it. It's it's part two, but it's one long story. And there is a version out there that I've never watched, but it's called The Whole Bloody Saga or something like that. I wasn't disappointed. I didn't know that. I did yeah. not know that. I'd like to see that. Yeah, Tarantino has got one called The Whole Bloody... Something like that. Um, look, I wasn't disappointed. I, I really... I probably do lean somewhat more towards one. Because I was a bit disappointed by the ending of two, you know, something that's labelled Kill Bill by the time you get to Bill. It's a bit like, I, I know some people love it. I hated it. Joffrey's come up in, in, in Game of Thrones. You're waiting for it. You've learned to hate this guy for so many seasons. And you're like, is that how you took him out? It's a bit like that with Kill Bill. You're like, Bill, you've got these five deadly assassins who the bride is after. She's taking them out one by one. You finally get to Bill and you're like, hmm, okay. Couple of plot twists in there that I really enjoyed, but I was like, hmm, okay, that's that's, that's how we do. It. That's how we kill Bill. I'll um I'll say this about Kill Bill Volume Two. There were two standout things in it that I really, really liked. I loved everything that they did with Pai Mei, the monk, and get it and showing her training and what she was going through and how she became who she was. I thought that was cool. I also really liked the Michael Madsen sequence where he kind of almost bests her, then buries her in the desert. And then everything goes, you know, black mamba crazy in her, in, in his trailer, but everything before that and everything after that, I thought was incredibly underwhelming so much. So in fact, I think kill bill two is a massive step down from the first one. And I think it's probably a good thing that they didn't release. This as one long movie because after the, crazy action of the first one and the almost japan japan anime uh inspiration this would have felt slow in hindsight but yeah it's a good film yeah yeah look it's it's, it's one of those i enjoy it as i said i do lean number one so but yes kill bill is something people know i have a soft spot for so i can't try i that. still maintain it's your favorite film even though you say it's uh, back to the future i know what movie you like better than you <laughs> <laughs> i just do uh but look look the, the first one has so much cool stuff in it you know the crazy 88 or in ishii who is the best villain in the whole thing i won't hear otherwise at least for me she is Orenishi is amazing. Gogo, her little crazy Go -Go. killer, is amazing. Gogo -Go was so cool. The way she flies to Okinawa to meet oh what Hattori Hanzo, who makes the sword for her. Hattori Hanzo, who is a real freaking samurai sword maker. Like that guy lived and he was played by Sonny Chiba. I am like, well done, QT. Give me all the goodness. And part two, I was just like. Oh, you're not bad, but you slow. If, if we are honest, if we are honest, the final battle should have been Orenishi. It should have. It should have been. That was the one. Even when you look at everybody's stories, like um, Fivica Fox's character, yeah, she's done that, but she's settled down. This lady has owns owns the crazy idiot she's still in this world she's as bad as it comes you see what she does when people bring up her mixed heritage she is not to be played with as you said her little minion gogo -Go, is not to be played with so you get all of that and then you've got daryl hannah <laughs> you're like okay <laughs> it just it's, yeah. it's it's balanced wrong um i like the way she had a good whistle <laughs> literally um yeah, I like the way they've they played it into a two-part film, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to crap on it too much. But yeah, let's have a look. Would you like to see the classic yeah. trade, Ray Dre? Yeah, let's, do it. let's see Kill Bill Volume 2. 
the incident that happened at the Two Pines Wedding Chapel that put this whole gory story into motion has since become legend. That woman deserved her revenge, and we deserve to die. Yeah, but it was the better half. A lot of <laughs> right. And I am gonna kill Bill. Before this tale of bloody revenge reaches its climax, there's a few unanswered questions. If I may doesn't kill you, yeah, I may make you stronger. <laughs> Me, Chuchu, all of this stuff I hate is to breaking the heart of a killer. She's coming to kill you. You see, cut her way through 88 bodyguards. No, it wasn't really 88 of them. They just call themselves the crazy 88. I don't know. I guess I would sound like cool. Hi, mommy. Why did they show that in the trailer? I would never do that. That's crazy. I was a killer who killed for you. I had to choose. I chose her. She must suffer to her last breath. You have to unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Baby, you ain't kidding. I'm sorry. I overreacted. You overreacted? Spoiler you know what it City in the trailer. Do you know what it just reminded me of, though? One of the best Tarantino monologues, the the Superman Clark Kent. That's one oh. thing we can be grateful for. Oh. I, um, I I'm shocked at how much that trailer just decided to give away. Like genuinely. Um, do you know? I mean, I know it's been twenty years, but that's kind of a big thing. <laughs> do you know? It's weird because the more I look at it now, the more I'm like. It could have really just stuck with teaser trailer, the actual Literally. trailer. Yeah. You know the first bits where it's showing you like it, you've done this, but we've only got this far. Uma says, "I'm going to kill Bill." In cinemas now, that would have been it. That mm -hmm. would have been it. You don't need to do okay. Couple of sword bits that show her, you know, running up to you know she's taking on X, Y, and Z in this one. She's yeah. finally going to meet Bill, but the rest of it's not really needed. I'm you trashing didn't need to show that much of Bill as well. I was like, yeah. man, yeah. him being kind of this almost Kaiser Soze like unattainable entity is kind of what made him interesting. And the fact that they just said, "Well, here he is" in the trailer, I was like, uh, okay, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, I think I'm trashing the trailer more than I'm going to trash the film on this, though. As I said, like, yes, it's a step down, but the trailer was too revealing. Way too many. Mm -hmm. So much so that I don't actually feel like I saw the trailer back in the day. No, you can't because... have. It, the whole movie was given away there, basically. Yeah, because I remember going, <gasps> when I saw the film. Yeah. When Had I seen the trailer? I don't think I would have. 20 years I ago, bro. Much... YouTube was yeah. not really a big thing yet. Remember, we just yeah, had the world's yeah, first. We'd had the world's first flash animation video air around the same time, didn't we? Yeah. All right. This was all very, very new tech. The studios were not cutting together trailers and uploading them to YouTube channels. It wasn't that yeah. really a thing yet. I mean, so they could be wrong. We'd TV back then a lot more, but I think it was just the hype of knowing number two was coming, and that was it for me. Yeah. 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 Go figure. Go figure. I'm not going to say it's the first time I've seen it. Well, maybe it is the first time I've seen the trailer. But yes, 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 yes. Your score. Hmm. My score. I don't know what I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to go with one thumbs up. Mm. I'm going to go with one thumb. 
it's weird because if you ever ask me about the whole Kill Bill saga, I'd be like, yeah, gotta watch it, possibly greatest of all time. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there are certain elements to it that I'm just like, it's not number one. And I think that's the problem. I keep saying it's not number one. So, yes, you need to see it, especially if you enjoy number one. You need to see how it all ends. Mm. Very disappointed with the ending of number two. Love the monologue that came before the, the ending of number two. A couple of good fight scenes, a couple of mad moments, but it's not number one. So one thumbs up for me. I'd probably go the same. One thumbs up. It had some good stuff in it. Pyme, as I mentioned, was cool. Um, the Michael Madsen stuff was cool. One of the best performances I've seen of Michael Madsen like ever like he he's, yeah. he he's not done much of anything since then to be honest that's that's worthy of note but yeah i'm i'm going to go one thumb cuz it it was slow and it was you, you just kind of felt like that sketch from monty python at some point it's like get on with it <laughs> and speaking of getting on with it you guys need to get on with liking the video subscribing to the channel if you haven't done already if you like movies that is um and if you do then we'll be here every single day of the week. Just come on in, hit that notification bell, and you'll see more of us talking movies. But for now, I'm Nicole Hero. He's AJ. We out. See ya. See ya.